Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the LVN mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Now, we're from the last episode, we went back a little bit in time. I already got rid of the allies, we're, we're nobody else. Basically, we won as the Latin Access. Now, what we want to do, though, is try out the Romanitis uh, focus and path for in Hearts of Iron 4. And just for now, as you can see, we have a lot of things already on screen, but I uh, might as well do focus autocomplete. Romanitas. We have to create a feeling of unity amongst our allies and our people. We will ignite the flames of romanticism and venerate Roman times. The clock shall go backwards. So we can invite ambassadors to Rome. Why use cost commands? Just because uh, we can. And honestly, like, we literally might as well. Just because there's nothing else for us to do here. So we'll make the good old saying, all roads lead to Rome, a reality by building aqueducts and large highways to accommodate our armies and population. It shall go from the Western Alps down to the Pindus Mountains. And let's disable, let's see, Roman Union. So let's go and do... The decision. We must extend the invitation to the members of the Latin Axis to become or come to Rome to discuss strengthening our bonds. Cool. When selected, we get some political power. Other people get uh, influence. Say we lose political power. And when removed, oh god, that's going to be 90. Oh my gosh, 90 day focus. Oh, no wonder we can do the other one in time to build aqueducts and stuff. Dismantle Czechoslovakian forts. I've never taken that one before. Let's do it. Because there's nothing else for us to do. Uh, we can realize Roman ambitions. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens first before we do that stuff. Um, execute strikes on nuclear soil. It's fine. The mod should move. Oh, let me get rid of some of these divisions first. Thank you. Honestly, the mod should really move quite quickly since there's hopefully fewer divisions that we need to use and stuff like that. Oh, 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 whoopsie. There goes my finger. We got some Marines, of course, like when we did in the last episode. So, 90 day focus is kind of extreme, I would say. We've only been through 20 days, but it's fine. Overall, my thoughts on this mod. Um, it's, it's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of love poured into it, and, I, and it, it shows. It definitely shows. Uh, so now we get more fashion support, apparently. But whatever. But yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, yeah, we can do this stuff over here, maybe, again? If you're wondering about Mary Nostrum, we read that last time. Please go right ahead, but I'm just gonna go and just do FA, just because we can. Just get through it quickly. So why did that one unlock? I'm not really sure why, but CMRI, I read that one yesterday as well. So if you like to read about that one, please go right ahead, which looks pretty awesome. Like, this could be, this would have been very useful, but obviously, we can't do it. Estonia, nope. Estonia shall not have freedom in this campaign, nor shall it ever have freedom. Never, ever, ever. Estonian freedom is an idiotic idea. And since we're here, we're going to just do this. Because I could probably forward this into the future just a little bit more, but I'm like, eh, it's all right. I do want, because I do want to explore the other sides of the focus tree as well. Uh, that's nice, that's nice. Let's go do this, do this, do this, do that, do this. Thank you very much. And... Trucks and whatnot. There you go. More divisions. Goodbye. We don't need you anymore, realistically. Thank you, thank you. Cool. Oh, the claim of lordship over Slovakia. Hungary demands Slovakia. Hungarian government's approach is about the future of the status of Slovakia. They strongly believe that we sh they should have full control over the fate of Slovakia, seeing how Slovakia used to be part of Hungary during the days of the Empire. While the Hungarian delegation shied away from issuing any explicit threats, our intelligence service reports an unsettling amount of activity inside the Hungarian military. I don't care. Congratulations. <sighs> That's disgusting. Why? Why would you make it that disgusting? Hold on. Do you have this as a, you don't even have this as a, okay, give this a back. You can have that. Do you feel better now? Hungry, do you feel better? You should feel better. We don't want any pokies coming out. Or anything around here. Now, as you can tell, like, we've, we're pretty much done with this campaign. But, uh, a few minutes uh, for this video to see uh, what else uh, we could do with this thing. Okay, so many more days do we have left. We have four days. Yeah, literally four days. I wonder what happens if we remove Mussolini now. So. <laughs> Alright, so, the ambassadors arrive in Rome. The ambassadors from the members of the Latin Axis have arrived in Rome today for a mysterious conference regarding the future of the Latin Axis. Speculation is running rampant with talks of closer military and industrial alignment of even some wild theories about a more complex union between the nations and under the leadership of Benito Mussolini. While the skies are, details are sketchy, one thing is clear, the conference of Rome is ready to begin. The future belongs to Rome. Alright, since we're here anyways, um, let's use consequence again. The Roman Union. The Roman Empire ceased to exist in 476. <laughs> With new allies, it is the perfect time to rekindle the dream of the Roman Union, or Roman Empire. We shall realize our ambitions of a new Roman Union with our allies. A dream once called Rome shall come back. Alia Eacta Est. Cool. So what does that do for us now? Oh, crap. What is this? 
Uh, guaranteed religious freedom is a concern for many of our allies, considering our close connection to the Catholic Church. If we guarantee that we will never allow for the adoption of a state religion within the courts, most nations will be more likely to accept. Uh, with the courts finalized, the ambassador from the Spanish directory can return home and seek the official support or approval from his government. We must work tirelessly to convince the ambassador to recommend an adoption. As of now, the ambassador from the Spanish directory will endorse the ratification. The ambassador's recommendation is not the only factor. Integration of the armed forces. Many of the ambassadors answered to military leaders back home have indicated that a key concern is the loss of rank or seniority in a unified command structure. By guaranteeing the rank, pay, and pension in the new union will increase the likelihood of acceptance. Um, uh, might recommend. Might recommend. Uh. Roman propaganda in order to push this project to the finish line must invest in a significant propaganda campaign. Alright, we'll see what happens. If we don't do this one, is that okay? Um, Conference of Rome. Ambassadors from our allied nations have gathered in Rome to discuss the terms of a treaty that would unify our nations under one flag. It's a delicate negotiation, ultimately. Acceptance by the parties will be based on the recommendation of their ambassador, their opinions of our nation, and their ideological similarities. Uh, okay, so the ambassador will endorse ratification. Morocco will endorse, Spanish Directory, Luxembourg will endorse, uh, Romania, Portugal will endorse, Hungary will endorse ratification, French Syria will endorse as well. Okay, so it looks like they all will endorse. The ambassador's recommendation is not the only factor. Guarantee religious freedom? Okay, so when selected, the king of Portugal will slightly decrease the chance of ratification, as well as Spanish directory, but everyone else will be increased. Honestly, at this point in the campaign, I think we'll just force it through to make sure that we do win here, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens, but... Uh, it's gonna take so long to get there. Uh, let's do some of that stuff first. Basic part... No one cares about technology anymore. Uh, reform the Roman army? Ah, we need to conclude the conference first. In order to defend our future empire, we need a new kind of soldier. It might become difficult to command a multi-ethnic army, but we shall show the world the might of the Ro modern Roman army. Gloria Exercitus. All right, everyone. So as you can see on screen, the conference of Rome is completed. Nothing's really happened yet, and they're finalizing the accords, but I guess we do another focus now. Let's go ahead and do... Um, yeah, we, we did read the reform of the Roman empire last time, so... Uh, let's go and do that one. The integrated war economies. By emerging our war efforts, we'll ensure cooperation between the unions and the future endeavors. No effect, huh? New Roman citizenship. By giving out official citizenship to all subjects of the Union, it will create a sense of unity and guarantee religious freedom and of cult. Okay. Consumer goods factors goes up by a little bit, which is fine. For, but we get way more weekly stability. Wow. And weekly manpower. Wow. Okay. Realize the Roman dream. So all the participants in the Conference of Rome have either signed the treaty or left our faction. The council requirements are not met. Fully independent. We have to be fascist. The Roman dream were born. By making few concessions, we were able to reform the Roman Empire. This new empire shall be forever stronger than the Roman Empire ever was. Roma Invicta. It will become the U Roman Union. So, okay, so long as Greater Hungary rejects the Accord, the ambassador from Greater Hungary has informed us that they have rejected the Accord that will maintain their independence. Romania rejects Portugal. So basically everyone has rejected us. Except for the Prefecture of Luxembourg. And Spanish Morocco. And French Madagascar. Okay, that sucks. Alright, so they leave our faction then. Seriously, get out of our faction. I will kill you all off if we have to. Um, well, that's interesting. I mean, there's no guarantee that we would have gotten... I even started increasing relations with them, too, so... Uh, first up will be Hungarians. First up on the chopping block. I regret giving them Slovakia now, so... Uh, do we have war goals on these guys? Greece? Greece is not alive. Um, are we supposed to be able to do anything now? Was I supposed to guarantee religious freedom? Uh, well, Portugal and Spain didn't even want to be with us anyway, so uh, I guess not. Okay, then. National Spain, nothing there. Well, this seems very awkward and weird. So... And you're not getting an invite. We got a lot of nukes. Nope. You made your choice. And we shall make our own. Do we have any um, 
Strategic bombers. We got some jet fighters, jet bombers. Yeah, we do. Not bad. Because I'm going to nuke the crap out of Budapest. And we don't have that many nukes, or that many uh, strategic bombers, but that's alright. Okay, so seriously, why is this glitched? I know I'm not supposed to use console commands for this stuff, but like, this is this is kind of dumb. Uh, I'll come over to the plane stuff. We can use more plane stuff. There you go. So our divisions are here, sort of. There you go. Just get onto the line. Are you guys ready yet? Come on, come on, come on. Three. Let's just go, anyways. Alright, so we get no option to go to war with them, which I think is really disappointing, but whatever. And do we have air superiority yet? I would love to have air superiority. I want to nuke the crap out of them. There you go, nuke them. Seriously, nuke the crap out of them. Well, at least we get to use nukes eventually. That's a nice thing about this. Nuclear bombs, and we'll take. Oh no! What is it? Ah, uh, that's fine enough. Ah, hungry. Very warm this time of year. Very, very, very warm. Gosh, a third of a million have died already. I don't take out Romania. I'll take out everyone else. Yeah, it's weird that we don't get any options about getting rid of these guys. I don't know. Maybe that's not in the mod yet. I kind of think it would be. Keep going in. We've only killed off one. Wow, 1.16 million. We killed off a million ourselves. So, well, they deserved it. You will be with us whether you like it or not. No, I slightly regret not giving these guys uh giving them Slovakia, but whatever. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to rush through stuff, but oh well. Would you like a turn at going kaboom? Of course you would. Very good. Oh, what a shame. All right. Uh, we probably don't have air superiority. There we go. Now we do. Nuke the mountain. Just casually nu start nuking mountains, that's all. I didn't even nuke America. Ah, look at that beauty. That's so beautiful. Only 110, 30, 50,000, 200, a quarter million have died. And rightfully so. Ah, uh, not enough. France. You do not want to join us. Oh, do we have even more ships? Nice. We have a lot of destroyers here, so. Oh, France, France, France. Stormos, there you go. There you go. No, actually, we already had it. On. Well, now we have it on. Oh, some of our divisions are there too. I don't really care. They attack us, we attack them. You know, all the good stuff. French Morocco, no one cares. Cool. Paris, nuke it. Mets, nuke it. This area, nuke it. Strasbourg will fall soon. This one could get nuked as well. Mulhouse. Very good, very good. Um, over here, they need to get a little nuky. Just nuke everything around Paris. This is going to be, be, become Fallout Italy. Or Italia. 
That actually sounds like a really fun game to play. Anything down here? Yes. Uh, yes. Nuke the mountains. Level the mountains. You know, the good stuff. And there goes France. Ah. 70,000 versus a million? That's not enough. Ah, Paris. Do it again, for old time's sake. Ah, beautiful. Alright, so that we know 1.38 million. Nice. Good stuff. Empire of Emeria, Luxembourg, Maghreb Empire. Oh, did you want another one? Here, I'll give you another one. I know you wanted another one. <laughs> Provisional government of the Soviet Union. Yeah, probably not for that one. Well, they had a choice. They could have stayed with us, but they chose poorly. The fall of Paris. They have a lot of divisions, though. Not very good ones, though. And that's quite all right. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't want to die? Are you sure? Okay, I just nuked myself. Okay, my bad. Alright, and then Spain will be next. And that should be it. And, or I guess Portugal as well, but whatever. Wow. Took a long flipping time for that one. So, when do we get this one activated again? Alright, not bad. We sunk quite a few of the French ships. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well. Cool. And let's get some of these uh, uh most closer. These mountains, I swear, are not going to hold us back. Run in doubt, force it out. Oh, you don't want to die? Well, that's too bad, man. Really much too bad. Zaragoza? Oh, no. Well, through the Pyrenees we go. Yay! Not enough casualties yet, but that's alright. We'll get there. And Portugal's just going ham on them, so. Nice. Extreme environment training. Grab that one too, because you can. Anything else here? Not really. I'm really interested in. Heavy fighters? Maybe. Probably. Honestly, not. Get some of that stuff. What are the casualties like so far? Half a million? Not nearly high enough yet. Madrid? Oh, please let me nuke Madrid. Yes. And those horses all died. 600,000? That's not enough. Can we get seven? Can we get 800,000 before they capitulate? That is the real answer. Probably not. Thank you very much. Alright, let's see. Can we do this stuff yet? Uh, sure. Anything yet? No, Portugal's gotta die then? Alright then. I got a ton of divisions, but you know what? Sometimes death has to come for everybody. Get out of my land. Yeah, I'll get rid of that probably. Speed it up. Speed up the game just a little bit more. Now these guys do be looking a little thick. Doesn't help that we nuke this entire area. Does not help us. But that's okay. Now, do they start attacking us? Give our guys a little bit of time, and then we should be able to nuke them. 
Duke him, nuke him. Still winning regardless. Casualties. Oh, it's glitching out. Can't see that. Nice. Coming in and around. Lisbon needs to go boom, but we can't do that quite yet. Evora. Right there. Guardia. No, not quite yet. Every nation we touch goes kaboom. Nope. Please let me nuke Lisbon again. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yay! Do it again. Yay, do it again. Nukes are so underwhelming in this mob. In, in Hoi 4, not just this mob, but Hoi 4 in general. Oh, God, I want to see how many casualties we've caused. Come on, keep going in. Oh, come on. You know them surrender? So that should be it, right? Okay, screw it. Just... That should literally be us last, right? That's, that's literally it. Except for our puppets now. This seems a little glitch. Okay, screw it. We're just going to do... Uh... We're making a few concessions. We're able to reform the Roman Empire. The new empire should be forever stronger than the Roman Empire ever was. Roman Victor. Nice. Um, if you want to buy that, please go ahead. Or, of course, we read this in the last episode. And that one, too. Uh, reach a Trojan Wall. Our eastern borders have been compromised in the past. By securing the east, there will be one less problem to worry about. We'll have one step closer to reclaiming the empire. Uh, reclaim Hispania. Portugal and Spain are an important part of our new empire. We shall share a balance of history and religion. Their encouragement and inclusion in, a new, in union is a must. Avenge Byzantium. In 1453, the Eastern Roman Empire fell. If we want to avenge our eastern brothers, we'll have to take back Constantinople. Amend old grudges. Our eastern borders have always been unstable in Roman time. With the advancements in technology, we will reach where our ancestors had never been before and secure eastern borders once and for all. And secure the southeast. In Roman times, the invasion came from the east, but also from the southeast. We will do what needs to be done to ensure no threat from our to our th survival comes from, from this region. And now is that it? Oh, well, let's do this too. I believe that should be it. Oh, look! Benito, Italian lawgiver. The Roman dream of war, having sunk deeper and deeper in Italy's sphere of influence. Italy's allies were more than happy to be incorporated into the new Roman Union. With multiple benefits, the new Roman Union will function like a federation will have its capital in Rome, Benito Mussolini, make concessions to the original authorities, and establish a new parliamentary system with him as a leader. Junos all over the world stormed Rome, and the new Augustus, Benito Mussolini, was more than happy to give them a speech. All over the Union, multiple demonstrations were held to the new modern Roman Union. Benito Mussolini declared it with a big smile. They thought it was impossible. They thought it could never be done. Yet, here I am, standing as a victor, Roma Invicta, like a phoenix back from the ashes. Nice. Welcome the new Augustus, Benito Mussolini. And realize Roman ambitions. Imperium Romanum. That seems like a bad idea to do it now, but I think that's pretty much it for us. Imperium, rise of Imperium Romanum. Which is not as cool as Augustus Mussolini, but hey, I think that's going to be it for us here. I mean, we can still go to war with Greece, I guess. Is that, is that the Greek one? Or, no, Turkey. But that's pretty much going to be it first. I prefer the other one. Augustus Mussolini is okay, but I prefer the other portrait of him. But hey, if you enjoyed the video and the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.